Hey, what is up guys, Nellis here from Nukestack and in today's video I will tell you if it's worth to buy Transmart Onyx Haze Bluetooth earbuds or not. Those AirPod style buds are priced at only 30 bucks, however my biggest concern was sound and microphone quality, latency as well as battery work time. I will cover these parts in this video and add to this I will also compare Transmart Onyx Haze to more expensive Xiaomi Air 2 and Apple AirPods. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So these are already my third Bluetooth earbuds from Transmore company. Previously I have tested Spunky Beat and Onyx Neo models and well, the boxing of Transmore Onyx says is exactly the same. Inside the box you'll find Bluetooth earbuds, a charging case, USB Type-C cable and a user manual book. When it comes to the build quality I would say it's somewhere on average. It feels just ok as Xiaomi R2 but not as premium as 5 times more expensive Apple AirPods. Well, I guess that makes sense. Airbuds themselves are quite light and solid, however I wish the quality of case would be better. The Onyx Ace does not have strong magnets, so opening and closing the lid is not as satisfying as original Airpods. Of course, it's just a little detail and other than that I really like that on the front there are 4 LED lights for better level indication and on the bottom USB Type-C fast charging port. So to wrap up the quality part and skill out of 10 I would give 9 points to AirPods, 7 points to Xiaomi Air 2 and 6 points to Onyx Ace. Now let's move to the most important part of this video, sound quality. I have been using these buds for more than one week and during that period of time I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos, some Netflix movies, played PUBG Mobile and listened to music while exercising. And to be totally honest with you. I was really impressed with overall sound quality. Transmart Onyx A sounds pretty well balanced, audio is clear and there is a decent amount of bass. It definitely outperforms my Xiaomi Air 2 and it's not that far away compared to the Apple AirPods. What a surprise! Here is some audio sample from all of these buds for your reference and personal evaluation. As you could hear, Xiaomi R2 sounds a bit flat and not that punchy compared to the other models and add to this, maximum volume is not loud enough. So for sound quality round I would give 8 points to AirPods, 7 points to Onyx Ace and 5 points to Xiaomi Air 2. Next one on the list is microphone quality test. Onyx Ace has a total of 4 microphones with some kind of noise cancellation. And on the box you can see that shiny and promising label saying crystal clear calls. Well, let's see how crystal it is in reality. So this is a microphone quality test of Tronsmart Onyx Ace earbuds. Those are 30 bucks little earbuds, AirPods copy. How does it sound? Do you think it's decent enough for hands-free calls? So this is a microphone quality test of Apple AirPods. This is microphone quality test 1, 2, 3. And this is a microphone quality test of original Xiaomi Mi True Wireless Earphones 2, also known as AirDots Pro. How does it sound? Well, let me know in the comment section down below. Well, honestly, Transmart Onyx Ace microphone quality is not that clear as stated. It's still usable and you shouldn't have any problems while having your hands-free conversations, but overall I liked the better mic performance from Xiaomi Air 2 and Apple AirPods. Using those buds, my voice sounded more clear and crispy. Summing up, 8 points goes to the AirPods and Xiaomi buds, meanwhile only 6 points to Onyx Ace. And now what about latency? Are those buds decent enough for watching YouTube and what about the gaming? So there is a slight delay between video and audio while watching videos on your phone, but in my opinion it's just ok and it doesn't bother much. However, when I did some gaming I could clearly notice game sound effects being way out of the sync. From the moment I pressed shooting button on screen, I think it took around 0.6 seconds to hear a fire sound. That's way too long. From another perspective, Onyx A still did a better job compared to Xiaomi Air 2, however the Apple AirPods was a clear winner. 
so my total evaluation for latency 8 points to Apple, 6 points to Tronsmart and only 4 points to Xiaomi. And finally let's talk about the music playtime as well as some extra features. Tronsmartonic says buds are powered by 40mAh batteries while the case is equipped with 400. While these numbers might not say a lot, I did perform the battery test to check how long you can actually listen to YouTube videos non-stop. Tronsmart Onyx says impressed me with a total of 4 hours and 45 minutes playtime, Apple AirPods was capable of 4 hours and 10 minutes, while the Xiaomi R2 was the last one in this race with 3 hours and 15 minutes. Combined with the charging case, you will get up to 24 hours with Onyx says and Apple AirPods, and only up to 18 hours with Xiaomi Air 2. Actually, I was expecting AirPods to win this round easily, but well oh well, Onyx says came with a surprise. So based on that, 10 out of 10 goes to Tronsmart, 9 points to Apple and 7 points to Xiaomi. Lastly, touch controls on Onyx says are quite accurate and responsive. It's way better compared to Xiaomi Air 2 and here is the list of all possible commands. With a single tap you can volume up or down, double tap will act as a play or pause button, triple tap will activate your voice assistant and finally a long press of 2 seconds will skip to the previous or next song. You can also reject or answer a call with touch controls and that's already a lot of things you can do without reaching your phone. Other than that, it's worth to mention that AirPods and Xiaomi Air 2 Buds have a nice pop-up screen with better information, however it will only work with the same ecosystem phones. Add to this, both of these models do have in-ear sensors and because of that, once you remove at least one bud from your ear, the music or video will go to the pause. This feature is pretty awesome and it works straightforward on any Android phone with Xiaomi Air 2 Buds, but for Apple AirPods you will need to install a third-party app. Alright, time to bring the final comparison table and count all the points. No surprise, in most categories Apple AirPods took a crown compared to the other two cheaper models, however between the second and third place, Transmart Onyx says beat at Xiaomi Air 2. Furthermore, if you take into consideration price to quality ratio, I see Onyx Ace as a champion here, despite having an average build quality and least impressive microphone quality. So at the end, it really depends what you want and how much you're willing to spend. I have absolutely no regrets buying Apple AirPods even though I'm using it on Android phone, but if you're looking for something more affordable with good sound quality, I could easily recommend you getting a pair of Drontmart Onyx Ace. And that is it, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more high quality tech reviews. Definitely check out my other comparison video between Drontmart Spunky Beat and Onyx Nia and drop me any question in a comment section down below. Thanks for watching, this is Nellis from Nukes Tech and I will see you in the next one.